We've just completed this awesome Hawk Shroud night house for our client. So this night house comprises of some awesome models, including two Armager Helverins, two Armager Warglaives, and then three Knights that are fully magnetized for all weapon loadouts and flexible gaming. So let's jump in and let's have a look at this Hawk Shroud night house. The full entire night house has been painted by Keith, one of the artists here at Siege, who's done an absolutely tremendous job on all of the models. Uh, we're gonna start with the armagers to get going. I really love an armager and this force has got a, a good selection of them, both two Helverins and then two of the standard war glaives with the Melter Lance uh, and the Chain Glaive. Uh, and all of the armagers have been magnetized for flexible loadouts as well, so they can take the auto cannons as well as the Melter Lance um, and be the Helverin or Warglaive variant, which is great. Um, really do absolutely love the uh, the Armager. I think it's a great little night. Uh, really fun painting project with lots of little details and things like all the pipes, cables, dials, screens, and buttons, which is just brilliant. Um, I do really love, incidentally, on this one that it's got the red sort of uh, trapdoor or entry point, and also the cowling on the weapons is done in red as well. I think it's potentially to denote this one potentially could be a squad leader or a unit leader or a higher rank in the knightly house, which I think is great. Um, obviously, they've all got the Hawk shroud uh, sort of transfers both on the sort of front pads and back pads with the half aquila on the left and right and obviously the hawk shroud livery just on the carapace again Keith's done a great job with all the metal work on here obviously knights having lots of different metals used lots of different tones to really break up the overall kind of like structure of the model so you've got some brass on there you've got some gold obviously silver and then we've got some scattering of that hawk shroud yellow tone as well on there which is just great um i really want to talk about the basing as well because i always go on about basing and i think Keith's done a great job of this kind of like wet muddy marshland which i just think is brilliant uh with really creative uses of different paints and, and sort of finished properties so that you've got some patches of like wet area on the bases as well which is just really really cool and then we've got some nice desaturated tufts just to contrast against the really bright kind of armored sort of areas of the minute miniature as well uh, but that's just one of the armagers can jump through and have a look at helverin variants so obviously the auto cannon variant of the armager i do absolutely love the uh, the use of color on all of these as well the little gun shields as well just in yellow with that hawk shroud kind of tone as well is just really nice again all the lenses done in an orangey red which just really looks great um great sort of like for the optic the optics on the front of the armagers all the carapaces Pace sort of entry hatches are done in a nice blue as well. That sort of primary color triad of red, blue, and yellow just on the miniatures just works extremely well. Um, I do love the black stripes as well on this carapace as well. I just think it's good. They've all got kind of unique heraldry on them a little bit, which I think is really cool and just shows that kind of like knightly house kind of like um, lineage between all the different ranks that are in the uh, the force, which is just great. Um, again, got another another um, uh, warglaive here and obviously another helverin, exactly the same, obviously with loadouts and things, but just slightly different uh, placement of transfers and placement of heraldry and then we're going to jump on and have a look at the three big boys um so we've got three knights fully magnetized for multiple different options loadouts uses in games which again just gives great flexibility if you're playing tournaments and if you're doing sort of like lots of games with your friends um so yeah let's jump in and have a look again very 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 similar with these as well in the sense of obviously all having the hawk shroud heraldry We've got a nice amount of battle damage just done across uh, the uh, sort of like uh, the, the cow paces. Nice patina of that on there, which is just great. I love the kind of like uh, soot kind of like cordite kind of finish just on this battle cannon as well, which is just really nice. The use of the dirtying of the lower portions just to really sell that wet kind of marshland basing as well on the miniatures is just really great. If you look at the back, for example, on the on the sort of banner that's hanging between the legs, the reverse of it having all that mud that's like flicked up where the legs are walking as well is just really cool. Again. Beautiful, beautiful model. I've got to touch upon it because it is in their background. Hawk Shroud, obviously very closely aligned with Blood Angels. You can see that lovely golden Blood Angel transfer on the knee pad there, just to denote that kind of like uh, sort of like campaign sort of lineage that they've had with them. And again, you've got other little markings here, like a little yellow blood drop and a little shield there with a blood drop in it as well. I do like the use of some of the chevron areas, obviously like on the battle cannon there, just to show like obviously like a danger kind of thing, which is quite cool. And again, really, really well executed. The battle damage is not over the top, just really done nice across the different areas some real sort of oily marks and stuff obviously on there as well as if like that oil was seeped from different, different areas of the mechanisms and things which is great if you look around the back for example just where the uh, sort of like the exhausted area is you've got obviously the dirting of those exhaust stacks but then we've got this really heavy kind of oily kind of weathering that's been done on this back section with some of those mechanicus warning symbols and things just slightly obscured but just to show the sort of like 
the, the patina of, thing, of the damage and the sort of the use that's on there as well. Um, but really, really absolutely love them. So I just wanted to show off the magnetizing for the uh, the main knights, uh, just to show the flexibility and how good they are for sort of like interchangeability, um, as it's a real thing that we do enjoy doing for clients here at Siege on projects. Again, you can see obviously you've got the, the melter cannon here. This just completely comes off and obviously is fully magnetized and is interchangeable with obviously just the, the Gatling cannon there, as you can see. So that changes over quite nicely. And same with the combat weapon. Obviously, the, just the chainsaw can come off quite nicely. And then obviously that can be replaced by the, uh, by the fist as well. So the, you can take that on there but the good thing about the uh, the melter cannon weapon as, as an option as well just to show you is that we have also magnetized it at the connection point so that you can literally just change the battle cannon and melter weapon and give that flexibility on that weapon so using the same body but changing the facade or the front just works really well also uh, which is a nice use of the magnetizing across the miniatures so let's look at the last knight in this force and I really do like this one ever so much because of the sort of the coloration that's been used on it. I think he's done a great job of creating a little bit of personal heraldry on each one which is just brilliant. Here you've got the half and half top carapace black and yellow which I just think looks really great um, and gives this one a bit more of an ornate kind of finish which I think is great. And obviously the head uh, cowling here, the armoured head cowling with that red, nice use of that red splash across the force in various areas as well. But again, done to the exact same sort of stand as the rest of the army. There's loads of different transfers across all of the different areas of these miniatures across the force and they've all been weathered into that look like they've been there for absolutely ages uh, but that's just the last night to complete this awesome hawk shroud force do absolutely love it keith done a phenomenal job on the project and i know that our client is going to absolutely love them to join their collection so thanks for watching the video guys i really appreciate it ever so much i do hope you've liked this showcase if you'd like a commission for your project then please do not hesitate in getting in touch with us in the description of this video you can find the link to our contact form on the siege website as ever, please like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. And from all the Siege team and myself, a massive thank you for watching the showcase. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.